Uh, I want to say uh, hello, hello to my friend, hello to the Beat Soccer Ambassador, hello to the, the UAE uh, captain uh, of the national team, uh, Valid. How are you, man? Everything okay? Hello, Bruno. How are you? How is everything? Thank you for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here, and I hope uh, we add some uh, uh, stories and uh, statistical report about the beach soccer and intercontinental, and it will be beneficial for everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you very much. Perfect, Valid. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to have you two here. And the other guys, I am waiting now, Dario and Donna. Uh, they, they are up. Okay, but I want to say something. I want to say this, this presentation, it's not important just for the coaches, but for all beat soccer fans. Sure, we will talk here about some strategies, methodologies, methods that the coach can use in your training sessions. Uh, but more than this, we will analyze data and stats and we will talk how important uh, this kind of uh, knowledge uh, is important for the, the daily training sessions and the championships. Donna, Donna is here. Hello, Donna. How are you? Hola, Donna. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal, Bruno? Encantado aquí de estar con vosotros y sobre todo contigo para analizar ese gran campeonato como el Intercontinental. Okay, uh, Donna said it's, it's, uh, it's good to be here with you. It's, it's good to be here with all of them and to analyze the Intercontinental Cup. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we, we continue waiting. Dario Ramachotti, he is the, uh, he's a player of the Italian national team. Uh, he's one friend I made uh, in my career and uh, we, are, we are waiting him. And the other one is Zabas. Abbas is the Iranian, is the Iranian coach. And uh, it's important the Iranian coach here at this moment because we will discuss about the, the Intercontinental and the, in, the, in this year, in the, in the 2019 Intercontinental, Iran was the, the champion and they did a very good championship. So, Darius Taikwa, Darius here. Uh, hello, Buonasera. Dario. Ciao, Mario. ciao a tutti. Buonasera, buongiorno, buonanotte, a seconda delle, <laughs> di, dove si, di dove siete. È un piacere. Vi saluto tutti con affetto. E sono contento, dai, così parliamo un po' di beach soccer. Thank you. Ciao, ciao, amico mio. Uh, he said good morning, good night, good, uh, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> Regarding the guys, they, we are, we are uh, around the world. Uh, now it's one o'clock uh, a.m. in Japan, for example. Here in Brazil, it's okay. one o'clock p.m. And in UAE, maybe seven o'clock. Is it? 8 valid? p.m. It's 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. Look at this. Thanks, Dario. Yes, this is a pleasure to talk to you and uh, to talk about this, this presentation and, and this championship. Uh, congratulations regarding the second place in the World Cup. Uh, you did a very good championship there. And we, we, can, talk, we can talk about uh, why you didn't make a good championship in the Intercontinental Cup. E possiamo parlare pure perché non hanno fatto un buon campionato sulla Intercontinental Cup, no? Certo. Volentieri. <laughs> Grazie mille. Thank you so much. Right. So let's let's start the presentation, please. Just a second. Okay. Uh, I want to say to you how important it is to use stats and data. Okay. Of course, the empiric knowledge is important. Okay. I was a player. We are talking with players now, and they pick how what they uh, learned in their careers. It's important inside the pitch, but sure is important is is important to put some science inside the sports. And the data and the stats give you this opportunity. Uh, more than this, data and stats can tell you about the history of our modality and can help coaches to understand the other team and your team inside the trainings, before the games. It's so important, the stats at this moment. I can say to you, with data, better management. And coach, you are a manager. You are managing your team. You need to understand these uh, skills. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. 
Good. Here we have uh, the history of the intercontinental cup. Uh, and uh, checking the history, we can check the Russia team, the Brazilian team, and the Iranian team. Uh, in the Ross presentation, uh, Hamiro Marelli spoke about the Brazilian team who won everything uh, until 2010, the growth of the Russian team who beat Brazil in 2011 in the World Cup and won the first World Cup. And after this, Amarelli said about Iran. And if we check the, the Intercontinental Cup, we can check good results from Russia team in 2011 when they won the, the World Cup. They won the Intercontinental Cup. Brazilian team also in 2017 won the World Cup. And now, and at this year, won. So it's a coincidence about the good results from Brazil and good results from Russia. World Cups and Intercontinental Cup. And the Iranian team. <coughs> Iranian team made a very good uh, Intercontinental Cup this year, sorry, last year. But uh, I want to say regarding the Intercontinental Cup, for me, it's the most important competition or with the World Cup, those are the most important competitions in the world. Okay, this year, for example, the Spanish team, they didn't play the World Cup, but they played the Intercontinental Cup. And they put young players like the number 13, the goalkeeper, Nebet Huami. And I want to ask uh, Donna. Donna, is it important? How important is the Intercontinental Cup? And is it important to put new players and to put legs on their sands? Donna, as important, sí. quanto as important la Intercontinental Cup? Eh, si es importante para meter los jugadores como el Juami, que tú, por ejemplo, no has jugado la, la Intercontinental, pero hay abierto el camino para otros jugadores. ¿Qué piensas de eso? Pienso que es un campeonato muy importante, solo que el año pasado se dieron muchos campeonatos en el mismo año y, y pienso que ese campeonato era una buena oportunidad para que, para que jugadores nuevos puedan, puedan jugar y puedan coger experiencia para los siguientes años. That's it. Uh, it was a lot of championships uh, last year uh, and the Intercontinental Cup is so important competition and the last year last year competition uh, the Spanish team uh, tried to put new young, new players to get more confidence to get the sands on the leg like I said to you. Okay, uh, where is Abbas, the Iranian coach? <laughs> it's important to understand their secrets. Yes or not, Ozu? Yeah, yeah, I don't know as well, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Come on, we are waiting you. Okay, let's go ahead. Sorry. Now, let's go. Okay, guys, so it's time to understand our work proposal. Uh, the process to go uh, sorry, we analyze all goals of this competition yeah, and we sure. analyze the process to go, yeah, how the teams build the actions to the ball arrive to the striker, to the striker score. It's not to just how many goals, but uh, how wor world goals are scored. Okay, guys? So, and uh, for sure in this process, I could do it alone and I bring uh, partners to do this job with me and uh, I want to present here it's more than this because this data we produce here we hello. will produce Excellent. hi hello Abbas hello sorry Bruno sorry no problem my friend everything please okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir. Mr. Doctor, please. hello for everybody sorry I, I have to say sorry for everybody because you have some problem with internet in Iran and a little bit we, we, we come late. Sorry, sorry. No problem. Take your sorry, time, everybody. Abbas. Take your also. time, no problem. Hey, Abbas. Hi, how are you? Good, good, dear. So, guys, I, I, were talk, I, I was speaking about uh, the, the Go process and uh, how, how hard it was to analyze all goals. And I had some partners. And I want to say one big partner who will produce one article is the group sorry, the research group in science, sorry, again, the research group in soccer science here in the Federal University of uh, Espírito Santo, where I live in Brazil. 
they have this group led by uh, Professor Rodrigo Aquino, and uh, they will they will produce one article for us after this presentation. And I want to say also thank you to Pedro and Victor, who helped me to analyze the data, and Felipe, Felipe Suarez, who is with me in my coach career. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here are the numbers. Let's look for them. Uh, the Dubai Intercontinental Cup 2009, 138 goals in 20 matches, 6.9 average goals. We try to divide, I try to divide the, play, the goals in open play goals and set pieces. Open play goals can be dynamic attacks, okay, with the ball moving. And set pieces, set pieces. We can say about the free kicks, the, the, the first ball of the game, we can talk about the throws, the corner kicks, and the penal kicks. Uh, but uh, some data uh, impressed me. For example, in the open play goals, we have 92 goals by one touch. We have less space, space in the pitch. Okay, the game is fast, the defense is so fast. And we can say about the size of the pitch also. Uh, small sizes uh, of pitches is less space to shoot, okay, and less time to do it. Uh, 40, 40 goals reciting pass, assists, and we will check the Spanish team and the Italian team do it very well. 69 goals, 69 goals inside the box, the zone four. It's impressive when you look the Iranian team playing this kind of game. Uh, 13 overheads, the defense defend well the overhead in, on this championship. Uh, those are some uh, stats of the open play goals and uh, the set pieces. The set pieces, it was 43 uh, and 25, 25 free kicks. Uh, I can talk about this with, uh, with Ozu uh, because uh, Japanese team uh, did very well on free kicks. How much you're training this in your training sessions, Ozu? Is it important for you? Uh, do you practice a lot? How did the coach put this in your training sessions? Yeah, our, every training, after we finish our practice, we have some time, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, to have a free kicks. You know, Good. every player since the, from the, from the fixer to the pivot. Okay. We, all players should, should make some free kicks. But I, I always train, you know, even the, when I'm with my club, with the national team, I always try to, to improve my kick from long distance or for near the, the, the goal. Yeah, it's important I think to it's, say, you can continue, yeah, it's sorry. In, yeah, it's, it's important for us, you know, because we, when from the beat soccer, we can, have, we can score from any place, you know. So that's why we should keep in trying to train our free kicks. Perfect, perfect. It's a, a technical skill, and uh, yes, uh, how much more you train, more uh, better you can you can shoot. Sure, that's it. I agree 100% with you, uh, Dario. 10 goals receiving assists. It's from uh, Italy. Inside these 40, uh, tell me about uh, how important it is to have a team who plays together a long time, uh, to have players who know one each other. And uh, how, how important it is to have this base for, for the Italian team, for the results of the, the Italian team? I capito, Dario. Quanto è importante para voi? Perché di 40, di 40 uh, uh, reti, 10, the 40 reti uh, receiving pass, getting uh, pass, okay? Uh, 10 sono, sono dell'Italia. Hai fatto fa, fa, fanno molto bene questo passaggio e pa, para segnare. È importante para è, è importante para voi eh, allenarsi insieme. Quanto è importante eh, tenere una, una squadra eh, eh, junta? Come, come posso parlare in italiano? Hai... Unita, junto. Perfetto, è quello. <ride> Dimmi. Sì, eh, penso che sia comunque la base di, di tutti gli sport, del beach soccer in, in particolar modo. E il fatto di potersi allenare insieme da tanti anni, perché questa è una nazionale che comunque il nucleo storico sta insieme da circa dieci anni, quindi ci conosciamo veramente, veramente a memoria. 
e poi diciamo che comunque anche il passaggio finale, il lavoro di squadra è finalizzato e valorizzato da due grandi attaccanti che abbiamo che sono Gori e Zurlo. Quindi va, dà valore ancora di più al lavoro che facciamo noi di dietro perché se ogni tre o quattro palloni fanno due gol dà più valore al lavoro di tutta la squadra. Grazie mille. Eh, he spoke about the time they are playing together. It's so important because they know one each other, but they, they give uh, the credits for the strikers they have. They have two big strikers, Gori and Zurlo. Uh, they, but, of course, uh, they need to, to receive some passes. So the defenders give some passes. The defenders defend well and give passes. Sure, they can score, but it's so important the teamwork at this moment. Uh, Abbas, you listen to me? Yes, yes, I listen to you. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's impressive to understand 69 goals inside the box, the zone four. Yeah. And most of them are scored by Iran. Sorry, sorry so, again? The question, the question is, the sorry, question I'm is... Okay. Uh, yeah, the question is, do you put your goalkeeper in the training in other positions inside the training? Yes, yes, I will put it. Tell me more about this, your training process, you can say more. دو تا تیمش که میکنیم حالا تو فرمیم پارو فوتبال بازی کنیم من از دروازه بانم به صورت پلی میکر هر هر کدومش استفاده میکنم مثلا پنج به پنج باشه بعد از پنج دقیقه باز عوض I, I change them with, the, with another position and totally I will put them in the, the process of the game. Okay, thank you so much. To, to goalkeeper knows how they, 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 they want the, they have to do during the football games. Futsal game, okay. sorry. This soccer, sorry, sorry. No I, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Abbas. Every time in, in, in our training, I will put them in the different position in the pitch. Good. Thank you so much. It's, it's impressive because if I ask for the other guys, they will say, no, no, we don't make it. <laughs> no, I will do it. Two times. Good. In training. Okay. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a, It's good to understand this because the Iranian team can play very well five against four yeah, using the, the numerical superiority. Okay? So now let's compare the Rada about the World Cup, the Mundialito, and uh, the Intercontinental. Uh, if you check, we have less goals of rage in this competition. Uh, but okay, Dario, Ozu, si. uh, Adario, Primo. Uh, is there a difference between the World Cup and the other championships? I will say something to you. The Italian team uh, did a very bad championship in the Intercontinental and did a very well championship in the World Cup. Why? Hai capito? Sì, la differenza che c'è stato nelle nostre prestazioni tra il campionato del mondo e l'International Cup. Pure se c'è differenza. Sì, per voi. Eh... Io credo che praticamente noi prima di partire per l'International Cup avevamo fatto una, una preparazione molto fisica, molto intensa e avevamo lavorato tanto a livello fisico. Quindi siamo andati all'International Cup con la mentalità giusta, con la voglia di fare bene, ma probabilmente a livello fisico eravamo molto caricati in base a che dopo dovevamo svolgere il Mondiale. Infatti poi dopo al Mondiale fisicamente stavamo bene, mentre magari all'International Cup abbiamo sofferto un pochino a livello fisico. E anche mentalmente, Bruno, te ben lo sai, se devi giocare un Mondiale magari una settimana dopo, inconsciamente, magari sei un... comunque la mentalità e la testa ce l'hai giustamente anche al Mondiale. Anche se noi abbiamo giocato al 100% tutte le partite, dimostra il fatto che abbiamo avuto anche diversi infortuni. 
che ci siamo portati poi al mondiale, vedi Gori e Gentilin che hanno avuto problemi alle dita dei piedi. Perfetto, hai ragione. I will translate for you. For you. Uh, he said about uh, the competitions are important, but the coaches need to understand the periodization, the physical periodization. Sure, we can talk about the tactical periodization, but Dario was specifically in the physical aspect. Physically, they weren't good in the, in the Intercontinental because they did a very hard job before the competition. But the goal, it wasn't the Intercontinental. The goal, it was uh, 15, after, 15 days after playing the World Cup. And you did a very good job. And, I, and he, he said something about the uh, psychologic. It's so important, the psychologic uh, to be uh, uh, focused on the main competition of the year. Uh, okay, guys, uh, Ozu, tell me something. Because Japan also did not a very good championship in the Intercontinental and arrived in the fourth position in the World Cup. Congratulations. And you can say something. Thank you. Of course, for us, we, we want to play every tournament very well, you know. But we was focused on the World Cup. And the Inter Intercontinental Cup was good for us because we stopped once in Dubai from Japan and they have to go to Brazil. So we could take the jet lag, we could take the, the hours from the stay in the airplane. And, but we always think about the World Cup. So we could play some, we could fix the, our mistakes in the Intercontinental Cup and take it to the World Cup. Yeah, of course the result was not good for us, but we could improve in the World Cup. That was, a, I think it was a good test for us, you know. Perfect. Uh... The coaches need to understand uh, each team has one calendar in the year and you need to have your main competition and you need to make your plan. Sure, the plan can, be, uh, can have other ways when you do it, but it's important to have a plan like uh, Emiliano did in, in Italy and like Rui Ramos did in, 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 in Japan. They use the competitions to fix something or to get ready for the World Cup. It's important. It's so important to plan and to have this periodization. So let's check the goals scored and the goals against. So Valid, come on, tell me something about these numbers. Why UAE got uh, less goals than the other teams? What's the difference uh, between this year and the, the other years? Or maybe with uh, the, this team train a lot, or maybe it's, it's the mentality. Come on, tell us. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, as you know, uh, Bruno, you was a coach with us. Maybe you had uh, lots of experience with us. But then, even though we have worked together for two or three months, uh, however, this competition was uh, different for us because uh, I will just explain it like theoretically. If I will talk about the strength and weaknesses, I don't want to say it weakness. I will say the area of improvement for the national team of UAE. Uh, uh, most of the teams we played with in the Intercontinental uh, Cup, they have a, a very good striker, like they have a real pivot. Uh, in Japan, they have Takoya, Yamoshi, Okayam. Uh, in, uh, in Spain, they have Lawrence, uh, Chiki, and Idu. In uh, Italy, they have two best strikers in the world, uh, Zorlu and uh, 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 Guri. 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 So, uh, yeah. And uh, also for Iran, they have Ahmed Zadeh, they have uh, Messi Ger, they have Mukhtari. So if you compare these players, normally they will give a benefit for the team. Like they are a real pivots, you know. But for us, why we score a less goal, I can say mostly uh, if you think in the recent, like last three years of Intercontinental Cup, we have given opportunity to five strikers. Okay. So uh, all of them. Uh, they were playing as a striker and we are in the process to have a real pivot and it will take a lot of time, Bruno. You are a striker and you know how difficult it is to have this type of players. Mm. And uh, also at the same time, if you look at it, a uh, number of the games they play, all, the, all these strikers who I just mentioned, they are like best strikers <laughs> in the world and they play a lot of games. They have a sense of uh, scoring, you know. We have like uh, five cents, but for the strikers, we call them, they have a sixth sense because they can score at any moment uh, within last second, something like that. They have something unique. So with these things, I think you need 
play a loss of games. And uh, if you are aware, our players, maybe they are not playing a loss of games. So it's hard to have this scoring sense. At the same time, if you look at the numbers, we have done a very, very defensive uh, tournament. We were one of the, we were the best defensive uh, team in the tournament. We, and uh, we received only nine goals. So to play against the, I can say they are the best five teams we play in Intercontinental. They are the best five teams in the world. So uh, to receive only nine goals. So this is, I give a credit to also to our strikers because they are helping us a lot in the, defend, in the defensive uh, side, you know. So we are trying to improve our offensive. At the same time, we need to keep the balance, our strength is our defensive. That's why these numbers is showing here. Well, thank you so much. And, and, and I agree with you. And I can say because I were a, a, a striker. Yes, you need to be ready physically to come back and to help your partners on the defense. And you need to be ready to go there and to, to score goals. It's important exactly. in, in, this, in, this, in this modality in beach soccer to get ready. And the next data will show us this, just a second. Ah, okay, so to, divide, to understand the process of goal, we divide in some questions and I bring from Hamiro Amarelli presentation, okay? I will follow this, this, uh, this way. They divide in when, where, how, and who. So let's go ahead. When? Quando? So look at here. We have a balance between the second and the third period, and we have uh, less goals scored in the first period. Uh, I can say something to you. For me, it's so important a very good warm up before the games. Para mim, para, para mim, uh, é importante, Dario, o Dona, é importante é um bom rescaldamento primo da partida. E, for me, this data shows this. The teams uh, score less goals in the first, uh, in the first uh, period because the team get ready inside the pitch. If you get ready inside the pitch, if you are ready, uh, you cannot get, get or suffer some goals in the first period. Uh, these stats can show us also uh, in the third period, the teams who can score in the third period, the third period are the teams who are ready physically and psychologically. We can talk about this with Valid because UAE team won, uh, played all games in the extra time. And uh, you must to have a very, uh, st uh, very strong uh, mentality to play those kind of games. Uh, okay, look at this. Japanese team in the third period. Do you believe this, uh, Ozu? You, you need to be ready physically to score a lot, a lot of times in the third period. Yeah, well, I think we need to be ready <laughs> mm -hmm. in the, every game, you know, all the game. But the number, I'm surprised as well. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I think yeah. We, we run a lot, you know. We, we have a good defense. And we try to keep it in good shape until the, the end of the game. So I think in the, the last period, we have more power, you know, other, comparing to the uh, other teams. You know. For coaches are good to look at this because, for example, okay, I didn't score a lot of goals in the first and the second period. Okay, I will try to get inside the game and try to score one, two, three goals in the first minutes of the game. Maybe this balance is different and I... I don't need to score a lot of goals in the third period, or maybe I will keep doing this in the third period because I am ready physically, but I need to start the game better, or I need to, to do better things in the second period. Yeah, or, yeah. Or... we, we, we okay, had some problems. We had some problems before because when you start the game, the first period, we always had some goals against. Okay. So, and we lost the control. So in the, you lose the game so easily. So that's why we try to be confident. We try to be more strong and they keep the game and don't, you don't, don't leave the score in the, in the beginning of the game, you know? Try to, again, so, to take the game to the, the end of the game, you know? It's, it's so hard, it's so hard to beat soccer to run back. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's so hard. Valir, tell me about uh, this, this data here. Why are you waiting? I, I believe in four aspects, okay? 
technical, tactical, uh, physical, and psychological. This this last aspect made a difference for UAE team in this competition. And how to train this? How to prepare this? Uh, I think you're right, uh, Bruno. I think all of these uh, factors you have mentioned, psychologically, tactically, physically, is very important for us. I think. Uh, we were, this time for Intercontinental Cup, we were very ready for it. We used to have uh, maybe twice training, physical training day, I mean, uh, in a week, a special training for, uh, for the uh, physical. That's why if you look at the numbers here from the third period up to extra times. And there is a surprise here. We played all the five games against, as I mentioned, against the best teams in the world, uh, Italy, Russia, Iran, uh, Japan, and uh, Spain. We all play against them in extra time. Imagine, like, we've played 15 minutes extra than all other teams in the tournament. So here, if you look at the numbers, it gives a lot of uh, indicator that we were ready physically for this tournament. And more than this, if uh, we also been concentrating during the whole time. From, look, the average here is not going like uh, 10, 3, 2. It's like 3, 2, 4, 3. This is the number we are scored. I told you, we had the strength of our defensive uh, system. We were following. Also, there are one, one more uh, additional things I, I want to add here because uh, we are waiting the other teams to do the mistakes. Some, most of the teams, Bruno, they play five against four. Uh, we have only one goalkeeper who can play. I mean, and this, we don't have like two goalkeepers who, who we can manage the games with them, you understand? So we normally wait for the opponent until they do a mistake or something because if you play 3-1, the mistake is a little bit less than if you play uh, five against four or less they play with the goalkeeper. So I think we were very patient during this tournament. We had a very good physically. And uh, I think, yes, this was a big reason for these numbers to be here. And I, I, I need to say congratulations to Vitor, Vitor Vasquez, who did a very good job and who are doing a very good job with you there. Vitor is a physical coach, Brazilian physical coach, physiologist. Yes, he, he always killing us. We had physical training, but we have to do it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's check other data. Okay, this is the same data, but now in percentage. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, let's check some goals. Uh, scoring in the last minutes of the game. This game, it was Japan no, against... No, don't uh, show that. <laughs> <laughs> Ozu, Ozu, this game so, is the gift of God. So it's crazy. It's the gift of God for us. Yeah. yeah. This game, <laughs> now it's it, Italy against the UAE. UAE beat Italy in the extra time. 6-4. Uh, this is Hamdi scoring a goal. This is a counter-attack. Look at this. Armed Basha, the best player of the championship, shooting and Alawi scoring. Okay, this goal, Ozu. Oh, no, again? <laughs> Look there, how can they, how can do? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, from where? From where the goals are scored? And we have here the zones. This is a FIFA protocol, okay? We have the zone one from the, the line until the nine meters. Zone two, nine meters until the middle of the pitch. Zone three, middle of the pitch until the other nine, nine meters. And zone four, inside the box, like I said in the second slide. Nine meters until the end, okay? Uh, some coaches prefer to, to put more uh, parts on, on the pitch. Hey coach, do your job, okay? You are free to decide what to do. This is your team, this is your method, this is your methodology. Here, we just show something for you, okay? This is an example, like I followed the example from Amarelli. I have my uh, own uh, methods inside my trainings, and you can do it. Here, I am just in sharing information, and it, that's not, it's good or it's not good. It's right or not right. Come on, do it. It's yours. Let's go ahead, sorry. Okay, here goes from all zones of the pitch. Zone one, Carpita. Shoot from the kick, from the keeper. Zone one, or a free kick. Honestly, just, just like this, we can score from there. Zone two, 
the Italian team defend very well, but forget to defend. The approach was so much. Okay. Zone three. Huh? Yes. This is zone three. A contra-attack from Spain, a Spanish team. Amazing goal. Now zone four. Using the pivot and the dynamic attack. Zone four again. Italian team controlling the, the ball, the striker control, and score. Zone four again. Okay, very good. Goals for all zone. It's easy to check, okay, and to analyze. So look at this. How many goals scored inside the zone teams who win the games? If you check, Iranian team, first of the championship, Spanish team, second, UAE, third, Japanese team, because that goal we saw uh, make difference in these positions, okay? If Japan beat us, Japan maybe is in our position in the championship, we are fighting for the last positions. This goal at that moment, was, uh, yeah. after, okay, you lose for us on penalties. But if you check, a lot of teams score a lot of goals inside the zone four. Uh, Abbas, do you listen to me? Yes, 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 yes bro. Uh, do you have some special training for, the, for this situation to it's score in the zone four inside the box? First of all, when I when I when we are we are making training with our player, uh, I will tell them that uh, we have to make a score from any zone, not only four or four. This is the uh, as a as psychology, they have to mention this, put this in, in their mind. The training that you, you said for the for the zone four in the box. The training that I, I have from defense to the attack. I put this, 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 this training from the box nine nine meters to the middle. So all they, they, they move and, uh, and make a score for in training. One against one with the keeper. Two against two. Okay. Or two against one. Or, uh, the, the, the throw from the goalkeeper from for, to the, the different angle. Okay. Every day we have Arruz. to we make this training. You know, Perfect. Play. It's an offensive training and you do it very well. Congratulations. Uh, okay, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Those are the goals scored by all zones. Okay, uh, we have other uh, data just in percentage. Uh, Dario, uh, if you check, uh, the Italian team didn't score so many goals inside. Okay. Uh, there is some uh, some characteristics you cannot go inside or you prof you play in different way. Italian team didn't play with five, in five against four every time. Yes, you can score a lot, but you didn't play five against four every time. Uh, you train in different ways. Dario, voi non segnano tanto dentro della zona 4. Si puoi vedere qua, hai tanti reti di fuori. Uh, entrano eh, diverso del, del, del 5 contra 4. Cosa fanno in entrenamento? Perché per me, per, per, eh, los goles, los, los, la, los segna, segna più eh, di dentro dell'area 4, quello che gioca 5, 5 contro, 4, contro 4. Capisci? Dimmi qualcosa che, che puoi dire. Allora, io credo che comunque noi rispecchiamo molto la mentalità italiana, nel senso che intanto il gol non va preso. Intanto cerchiamo, giochiamo per non prendere gol e facciamo una difesa fatta fatta giusta, fatta bene da tutti, da tutti i giocatori in campo. Quindi, come ben vedrai, sia Gori che Zurlo, tutti gli attaccanti fanno una fase difensiva molto importante e molto forte. Per quello, comunque, anche in fase difensiva riusciamo a fare delle ottime prestazioni. Dopodiché, noi siamo una squadra che riusciamo molto spesso a fare delle transizioni molto, molto veloci. Dopo aver fatto un'ottima difesa, ripartiamo, come si suol dire, anche molto in contropiede e riusciamo a fare, a fare dei gol. 
quindi non portiamo molto la palla nella, nella zona 4 e siamo tanto okay. laggiù diciamo a fare possesso palla perfetto uh, they, they have one style the Italian style to defend well and to go to the counter attack so fast so they don't play 5 against 4 because i put the credits on these stats goals inside the box because the teams who play more uh, in five against four in numerical superiority, superiority can score inside the box. Look, Japanese team play five against four, Iranian team, <clears throat> Spanish team, UAE team, all of them scores a lot of goals inside. How many times, or Ozu, you play, you training every time or every training inside this game model or you change the game model by 3-1 in your training sessions? No, our strong point is you play using our goalkeeper, you know. But during the game, you try once or twice to play 3-1 as well, you know. But and, the, we, and, the inside, we, and the, in the practice? In the practice, you train practice, both? Yeah, we train, we train 3-1 as well, you know. Okay. We train 3-1 on, on us. Because you have two, two, two pivots who, who mm-hmm. can keep the ball, hold the ball for the, for the allies come from behind. Good. So, but... We, our strong point, we, we, how can I say, we are comfortable playing 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, sure. I agree with you, and you are very dangerous playing on this. Thank you. So, okay, those are the goals I said to you, Iranian goals inside the box. For me, I love this kind of game, okay, guys? It's a collective game. They can pass, they can be with the ball in the air, they can play, and when they score, everybody's looking behind for, for the back. It's impressive. This is a counter-attack. They did very well <coughs> against Mexico. And this is the go- one goal in the final game. Okay, very good goal. This, this goal, it was in final game also. They are calm. They know what they need to do. This is the most important for me. Now this is the Spanish team after one good assist, one very good goal. This is the Japanese team. Okay, this is a counter-attack. The Italian team counter-attack. Other amazing goal inside the box. Italian team again, controlling the match, controlling the game. Now it was five against four, but okay, it's not every time. Okay, let's go ahead. <coughs> it was some examples of goals scored inside the box. And now how? Uh, let's talk about how the goals are scored. We divide in, in some points, ball in the air, ball on the ground. The striker, one touch, two touch, or more than two, th- two touch in the ball. Uh, how many passes the team did until the ball arrived in the striker. And let's talk about these, these numbers now. Okay, set pieces and open plays. We, we spoke about that uh, in, the, in the start of the presentation. Uh, here per teams, and we can check, uh, like what Dario said, they spent a lot of times in the counterattacks or organizing one attack. When I say open play, is when we organize the attack, okay? Uh, Iranian team also, they scored a lot of goals organizing the attack, attack regarding this game model, this characteristic. They played very well with the ball on the feet. The teams in this competition could control the game in numerical superiority. What are you talking about, Bruno? I'm talking about five against four, in the first part of the pitch, you play three against two. After this, in the other part, in the second part of the pitch, if you defeat, divide the pitch in a half, in halves, uh, you will arrive there in numerical superiority also, because we'll be three against two there inside. And the Iranian team do it or did it every time in this in this championship. Uh, all teams who play in five against four are trying to uh, search space to shoot, okay? And Iranian team uh, found this space inside the box because the teams prefer to press the keeper because they have two keepers very well, keepers who can kick from, from far from the goal. 
and uh, the teams prefer to press them. And they play very well on the second attack line. Uh, okay, guys, let's go ahead. Uh, okay, this is the num numbers per team, the same, but uh, only in stats, only in, in percentage. Uh, okay, and here we have uh, the stats of the uh, set pieces, because we need to understand the terminology. <laughs> For us in Brazil, maybe it can be standards, but we need to put one terminology for all to understand the concept. Okay, set pieces. And when you look at the free kicks, I told you, Ozu, you score yeah. a lot from free kicks, and you said to me, you're training a lot. Now I will ask Valid. Valid, uh, do you believe yes. the sand can make difference when you run to the ball to kick one free kick? Because regarding the, why I'm talking about this? Because we did a very good championship and in the Intercontinental, the sand was hard, okay? It wasn't so soft, yeah. like in the World Cup. What do you think about this and how uh, the coach or how the federation can, can understand these and build new structures, if it's good or not, come on. Yeah, I think, I think it's very true, Bruno. The sand is making a big difference from the field to field. Uh, we have been training on the hard sand, even though if you look at the, I mean, to be honest, in the Intercontinental Cup, the sand was not the same which it was in, in, in Paraguay. So in Paraguay, the sand was very deep, uh, very soft. Uh, I mean, it's, it was very hard, to be honest. Even most of the team, they were having a problem to play on the sand, I mean, on the floor. Most of the team who, be, who was playing, I mean, 2-2 in the air, they could keep the ball. It, it showed a big difference in the World Cup, such as Japan and Italy, because they have this kind of uh, uh, system they are working for. So yes, uh, in, 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 in Federation, we are having a sand, uh, only we have only this field. The other field which we are having in Memzor, it's uh, a little bit, uh, I mean, the, the facility is not available there. So I, I really recommend that we should have a proper beach soccer uh, field uh, with the very soft sand, so we will not face any problem in the future. And seriously, it make a big difference. Perfect, I agree with you. And I, I believe the teams or the national teams they need to understand this situation. The coaches mm -hmm. need to understand this situation and create appropriate its structure to have conditions to train in different kind of sense. Types yeah, and also, and, and also a variation of the field. You shouldn't have only one or two fields. You should have a minimum four to five. So you can make, uh, I mean, every time you could go to one area and to host a training there. So it's like kind of a development program. So, but okay. yeah, it's really, it's important. Okay, thank you so much, Valid. Okay, let's go ahead. Just a second. Sorry. Okay, like I said, you Japan free kicks, amazing, amazing, good data, and Italy also huh, on free kicks, a lot of free kicks you score. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, goals in organized attacks and goals in counter attacks. Uh, if you check, we have more uh, organized attacks. Organized attacks is. I put this term, okay, guys? Uh, it's uh, offensive organization or organized attack. And the counterattack is offensive transition. Like Dario said, they have, in Italy, they have a very good uh, counterattack. And uh, if, we, if we check uh, the teams in this championship, uh, okay, but you could organize the attacks very well also, <laughs> Dario. And uh, okay, but it, sorry, but uh, counter attacks. Italy scored ten times in counter attacks, like you were, were talking about. But inside the training sessions, you train in the counter attack. How you train in the counter attack? How you can train in the counter attack in your training sessions? Come come si può allenare il contropiede in 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 allenamento? È la mentalità, Bruno. È la voglia di è la voglia la cattiveria a livello sportivo sportivamente parlando nel voler difendere nel difendere forte e nel ripartire nel fare gol probabilmente noi in questi anni per caratteristiche tecniche fisiche atletiche ci siamo adattati a una grande difesa e una grande transizione 
e poi abbiamo coltivato questa nostra fame, voglia di andare a far gol dopo aver fatto una grande difesa e ci ha portato a, a questi risultati. Perfetto, perfetto. Uh, this is the Italian, the Italian way, or this is the Italian way to score. Uh, they are... Um... They like to score, they defend well, and they, they do the counter-attack so fast because this is inside their spirit, okay? And he spoke about the team they have at the moment because this is important, huh? Or you have, you have a team, okay? And you have one game model. It's important to understand. I put my players inside my game model, okay? I need to adapt them to put here inside. Or I have some players and I need to adapt my game model for them. If I want a team who plays in the counter-attack and I don't have fast players, how can I do it in my game model? It's impossible. So if you have good players who can do it, try to do it. And more than this, we need to have more uh, kind of games or more game models than only one inside your game. Or maybe more strategies. The game model you have one, more, but more strategies inside the games or against who we will play. And this data show us Iranian team and Japanese team controlling, the, controlling the, the, the ball every time, playing five against four. They be with the ball. And, okay, they score a lot organizing this kind of attack. Japanese team, only one goal by the counter-attack and 13 goals by organized attack. It's impressive, huh, Ozu? Yeah, yeah, but look in the number. <clears throat> Yeah, kind of worry about that because we, we are not good in counter-attack, but how I can say we, we try to organize the game, you know. Same Iran and Spain, we play off with our goalkeeper, so we have time to organize our game to, to score the goal. To be with but the ball, look, yes. Yeah, to be the ball. We, we, have, we keep the ball. But look at the number now, it's, it's not good for us to, to score just one goal in the counter-attack. So. But how you said, We, we need to look which kind of play we have, which kind of model we can, we can improve in our team, you know. Perfect. So, but we play the, the style how we can play with the players, you know. Okay, perfect, perfect. Like a coach, uh, analyzing those kind of data, we can check where we are not good or where we are good and we can improve this specific, specific skill in your team, huh? aspect. Okay, thank you so much, Ozu. Let's go ahead. I told you one hour, but we will go ahead for these <laughs> <laughs> But okay, more 15 minutes. Okay. okay, now team by team, okay, like in percentage. Okay, we can work with uh, absolute numbers, okay, or we can work with percentage, like you prefer. Okay, it's here, it's, it's, it's worse if you look at the Japanese numbers, uh, okay, and the, the Iranian numbers also. Uh, Uh, let's go ahead, guys. So here are some goals by organizing att organized, attack organized and uh, counter-attacks. It's a very good goal, a very good assist. Okay, the Mexican guy was looking, nothing. But okay, it's a two touches, very good goal. This one, Italian team organizing in one attack. Look at this, Dario Ramasciotti. Okay, Simone, he can play with the feet. Okay, we saw these goals a lot of time and they passed to the guy to score. Okay, bad defense by the, the UAE, Emily, bad defense. Just looking, huh? Yeah, 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 keeping a space. Sure. Okay, this is the Egyptian team against Mexico. This is a counter-attack goal. Okay, the ball goes there and come back, sorry. This also is a counter-attack game, a counter-attack goal. The Italian speciality. They are so fast. I remember when I was coaching in Hungary, we played one uh, European Cup. Look at other goal in counter-attack against Italy. And the first thing, the first, uh, thing I said for them is, watch out, they are very good on the counter-attacks. Voi siete troppo forti in contrattacco, Dario. Grazie.
Counter-attack. Ok. Japanese counter-attack. I need to put my... Ok, guys, let's go ahead. I am I much I must say okay touch by player before the goal. Okay, we understand the process to arrive on this guy. And now this guy, the striker, how many touches he did before to score? Look at these guys, 68% only one touch. It's impressive. It's impressive. Maybe uh, Donna, See? is it easier, easier or, or is it harder for the keeper if the the player the score or shoot after just one touch. É mais difícil ou mais, mais fácil para o porteiro se o jogador é, é, chuta de primeira? Para mim é mais difícil que chuta de primeira. É, se pode controlar e pode orientar a pelota dando dois ou três toques, é, para o porteiro sempre é mais fácil ou acortar o espaço ou colocar-se bem em portaria. É, e incluso algum defensa pode ajudar. A, a tapar el tiro. Siempre los grandes goleadores o los grandes eh, puntas son los que tienen el olfato goleador. Para mí el olfato goleador, tú ya lo sabes bien, Bruno, es más rápido y contra antes puedas tirar más difícil para el portero. Gracias. Uh, it's, it's so hard for the keeper because it's it's fast. Okay? The keeper cannot uh, get ready to get to to defend this ball. And also for the defenders, if the guy touch more than one time, the defenders can 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 save. So it's important this first touch to score by first touch regarding the space on the pitch. Uh, if we look for this championship, uh, we can say a good send to shoot uh, by the first touch. But if you look for the send in in the World Cup, it's hard because the send was different and make difference. Uh, can you agree with me, Yuzu? Yeah, yeah, I think we, from beat soccer, we can kick from any, any, any place, you know. It's easier. We, if you finish the, the play with one touch, then two or three touches, you know. That's why you can see the number now. Okay, good. And for me, it's regarding the space, okay? Maybe regarding the good sand we have, or maybe regarding yeah, the size yeah. of the pitch. If you have a small pitch, less space, so the players need to be fast when I shoot on, on the target. Okay, uh, sorry, let's go ahead. Sorry, let's go, let's see. Those are one touch goals. Let's wait a second. Go ahead. I'll try to, whoops. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this goal. It's amazing. But one touch. One touch. We have no space. If the guy control the ball, the other the defender comes. If you control the ball, the defender comes. You have no space. After the throws, of course, uh, it's it's good to one touch. Sure. Okay. Uh, look at this one touch play in Japan. It's amazing. Also in Spain. Also in Iran. And uh, it, Italy. Also, it's 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 unbelievable. How you can, how you are fast to to shoot on the target, target, okay? And uh, Abbas, are you here? Yes, yes. Bro. Do you train specifically for the strikers? من قبل از شروع تامین هم همیشه سفنگ نیست کار فوتبالی انجام میدم با بازی. Before I start training, every day, 25 or 30 minutes, I make training football with our strike. Okay. That's good. 
And after that, بعد کار که انجام میدم تو کار تمرینات خودم بیشتر کارم رو ضربات یک ضرب زدن توی هوا کنترل کردم. And in, in a specific training with the other player, uh, I make a training for our striker with one touch and at least touch to make a score. دو ضرب سه ضرب نشه. And I, 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 every, every time I will tell them uh, don't make uh, more than one touch two or ten. اول از دو باز کن شروع می کنم بعد سه بعد چهار پنج نفر دیگه تو کل زمین انجام می تو تمرینات خاصی که می کنم پنج دو باز کنی که می زنم و هوا کنترل رو کنم تا نوزه دیگه ولی بازم بهشون میگم که غیر از اون رو زمین هم باید کار بشه یعنی تمرین رو زمین هم باید Do you Please. remember when I was talking? Uh, do you remember? Uh, I'm, I'm saying I want to add something yeah. here. Do you remember when I was speaking about the strikers and the pivots at the okay. beginning? I mentioned some players. I think, and yeah, I, I don't so think, younger. I think this is the truth. Yeah, so the they, they are having a lot of chemistry connection between the goalkeeper and the strikers. So... The, stri- the the goalkeeper knows when the striker wants the ball and he gives them one I mean one strong throw with one touch he can finish the game. Those strikers who I mentioned in the beginning, they have a very good character at this especially. If you look at this Perfect. Italy, Japan, Spain and Iran. I mentioned all those players because I am playing against them and it is really difficult when you have a good chemistry between the goalkeeper and the striker. Because in one throw, Perfect. if you close your eyes If you just close your eyes, you're going to receive one goal, especially with this quality of the strikers. I, I remember the number six of Brazil a long time ago. He was good doing this also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I yeah, remember as well. I remember as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, Bruno, that, that's that's Bruno. Bruno. Sorry, Bruno. Sorry, Bruno. Okay. Okay. Uh, Abbas has one question. بس حالا یک سر زدم به چون باید کیفیت اون بازیکن مشخص بشه when we, when, when we are talking about one touch uh, the player make one touch it's, it's important the quality of the striker or that player تمام بازیکن ها باید این کیفیت داشته باشه all players should have this quality that make a 5 against 4 training perfect I agree with you that's it We can yeah, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Abbas. Uh, goals in which ball touches on the sand or goals didn't? Uh, uh, Donna, por favor. Sí. For you, is it's harder the ball touching on the sand or not? Es más difícil cuando la, la pelota toca en la arena o no? Siempre. Siempre para mí es más difícil. Yo creo que para el portero también. Es más, yo creo que los porteros, eh, todos deberíamos de trabajar más el bote en la arena y más cuando hay poca arena. Cuando hay poca arena, el balón puede salir más rápido y es más difícil de, de parar, de atajar. Sí. Pienso Gracias. que es, es difícil entrenar al bote. Eh, los jugadores hay veces que solo simplemente tiran pero yo creo que si los jugadores tiraran más al, al bote, meterían más goles. I agree with you. Uh, sí, sure. Uh, if the ball uh, rebound on the sand, if the ball touch the sand, it's harder for the keeper, it's hard for Donna. And, uh, but he spoke about the difference between the sands. Uh, we must train in the different kind of sands because if, uh, we, uh, if we play in one sand like Intercontinental, One sand, hard sand, uh, you, the ball comes fast and you need to be ready to these kind of balls. And he said for the players, all players, to train this kind of shoot because for the, the keepers are harder if the ball touch on the sand. Okay, we cannot check so many differences on this championship. 
And Dario, tell me what you said yesterday. Dimmi cosa hai detto uh, ieri. A rispetto di questo. Gioca di allora, premetto, ci sono giocatori e giocatori. Un giocatore come me, quando tira in porta, tiro sempre a prendere la porta, perché se non si prende la porta, gol non si può fare. Quindi, eh, se io volessi sempre cercare il sette o l'angolo e non lo prendo mai e tiro la palla fuori, io dico sempre, fa facciamo parare il portiere. Però giocatori importanti come Gabriele Gori, quando tira delle punizioni che tira forte, io gli dico, Gabri, cerca di, con il piede che hai, con la tecnica che hai, cerca di piazzarla. Perché giocatori come te devono cercare la qualità. Giocatori come me devono cercare un po' più di quantità. Perfetto, grazie mille. Uh, Dario said, yes, it's, it's, uh, he prefers to shoot on the target. And he didn't know if on the air or on the sand. But there are some players uh, in better conditions, technical conditions, who can uh, know where he, he needs to play or where he needs to, to shoot the ball. And, uh, and Dario gave the, the example of, uh, of Gori, Italian uh, top scorer and capo cannoniere. Capo cannoniere. Andiamo avanti. Let's go ahead. Okay, but by, by the teams, okay, it's just to check. Now we have uh, how to build the goal, okay? Uh, when we said zero passes is one rebound, okay, is one fall, is one free kick, but we can check uh, two, three, or more than three passes a lot. Uh, I like this data because we can understand Uh, or we can check how good is our uh, sport modality. It's, it's good when the team be with the ball in the feet and pass and move and pass and move to after score. Uh, in the trainings, we can train this kind of situations. We can keep the ball with us. Because I remember when I train, if I have the ball, if my team have the ball, the other team cannot score, just if I make a mistake. So if I try to build my, to build my goal, passing, moving, okay, maybe playing five against four, maybe playing in the three one. The game is better for me. The game is beautiful. Okay, we need to think in the result, but we need to think in the kind of the game we are making. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. We have a big difference between the Mundialito and this kind of competitions. This, this competition. In Mundialito, you could see a lot of goals with more than four passes. I can say to you, there, the Brazilian guys play it there. Okay, the Brazilian way to play is passing and moving. Now we have uh, Bernardo, Jordan, and Leo. They play very well with the ball on the sand, passing and moving. There is a big difference between these teams, Japanese team, UAE, Spanish team. Okay, here we can, check, we can check the Iranian team doing this, like the Portuguese and like the Brazilian, trying to build the goal, passing the ball and uh, arriving inside the goal. It's a good data to check. And we can check also the Spanish team is scoring after the assist. Okay, one touch, one pass and score. One pass, one touch and score. Let's go ahead. Now, the characteristics of the of, uh, Iranian team, they pass a lot of time. Look at this. And the Spanish team try to defend well. Huh? The Spanish team, the assists of the Spanish team, they are very good doing this. Look at this. Score. It's score and hug me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. This, this, those are goals. The Iranian characteristic of goals, more than four <clears throat> passes, if you can check. And the other team, uh, there's an example is the Spanish team, okay? They can score after one pass very well, after the assist, okay? But this also is assist. 
Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, now this is the characteristics of the goals. Okay, uh, we can check a long distance shot. Uh, Japan do it a lot, or the keepers do it a lot. Uh, we can check also the assists, like I said to you, the Italian team play like this, the Spanish team play like this, they use the assists every time, every moment. Uh, some coaches training these in your training sessions using the numerical, numerical superiority and trying to put these kind of games with the ball in the air, just one or two touches, defense against attack. In this training session, for example, to train this, this characteristic, you can train and put also the training, the counterattack, depending on your method, depending on your methodology, depending on what you want for this training session, and depending regarding your plan. Okay? Uh, it's just a data. We can check this data, and we can check this data by... Uh, sorry, this is the, the button. By the team, team by team, sorry. Just a second, guys. Uh, this is the Iranian team. But uh, before the Iranian team, sorry, I want to say something to you. This is the goal score team. We can check, for example, the assists from Iran, Spain, and Italy. How important it is to have good players and the players know one each other. And uh, looking at the analysis made by the doctor, Professor Rodrigo Aquino, here in the Federal University, and uh, he uh, put two, two, he divided teams in two levels. The first level, it was the teams who win the games. And the second level, the teams who lost the games. If you check the characteristics of the goals, of the teams who win the games, we have the teams plays in four against four, not every time five against four. Maybe the, the Iranian team use five against four, but more other teams, other teams use four against four. The attack, it was the dynamic attack. Okay, not the set piece, but the dynamic attack. The zone, all teams who win the games score in zone four by one touch in the third period with the ball in the air, organizing an attack. Okay, after this, the goals, all these points, we have zone two, ball touching on the sand, far post and assists. He, he control all this data and uh, looking just for the data who made the teams win. And I will repeat for you, dynamic attack, four against four, zone four, one touch, third period, ball in the air, okay. organized attack, zone two, ball touch on the sand, far post and assist. Those are the data uh, who now you, we know what happened in this championship, dividing the teams in level one and level two. Uh, so, guys, I want to say to you about the Iranian team. It was impressive for me. Okay, I had the opportunity to be to be the coach of uh, of uh, not the coach, the assistant coach of the UAE beach soccer team in this competition. And when I when I look at the Iranian team playing, it was impressive for me because they could control the game from the start, the game, from the beginning until the end. They could control the ball. They have a very aggressive defense. They have a very good attack. And I want to say congratulations to Abbas the, regarding the job he did. But, uh, and I want to ask him what he Thank changed. You. Thank you. What he changed after the qualifying on March when you lose the qualifying and you get out of the World Cup, what will change for this tournament? What did not change? Excuse me, I'm going to leave. Thank you, thank you. It was a pleasure. Just a second, just a second. Sorry, Abbas. Sorry, Abbas. Sorry, Abbas. Bye-bye, Ozo. Bye-bye, see you again. Donna. Go train. you, guys. Before before we we going for this championship, we have one Olympic country. Qatar. Olympic, in, sorry, in Qatar, uh, we Qatar. have uh, in, in Qatar we have one Olympic Games. 
که ما اول به عنوان اولین حالا اون تجربه سرمربی کردیم فور می واز دی فرست اکسپریانس اف فور می از هد کوچ فور دیس دیس فور نشنال تیم اف ایران برام خیلی مهم بود بتونم نشون بدم واز امپورتنت فور می دت تیک ا گود ریزولت وی دیس تیم یا اومال سازی خیلی خوبی داشتم تو اومال وی هاد ا گود پرپریشن این اومان کانتری البته خب به برنامه‌ریزی قبل ما خب همیشه می‌خواستیم تو برزیل رو اردو بذاریم که اینجا نشد این پلن سری چهار من بود تو عمان The first plan of us was that we would make a camping in Brazil country but uh, for for situation that we have we couldn't go there and uh, we we made, we made our third plan that make a camping in in Oman من اعتماد به نفس خیلی زیاد به چهار دروازه‌بان جوانم I gave a good uh, confidence for uh, for four young our player که تو بازی بین بازی اولمپیک سوال خیلی خوب گوش میشه. That in in soccer Olympic games they 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 show themselves in very good in good shape that we get a third position this championship. بعد آماده سازی خودمون برای بازی بین بازی داشت. And after that we may, we 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 had our preparation for uh, the intercontinental games. که اون بازی بین جوانی که تو بازی بین بازی. That those young player that is the uh, the first uh, championship. Show them very well. I put them in the five star. I put them in the five star. Start the lineup. I put Amir Benzadi. Benzadpur. In first team. But I want to first of all, we, we want to uh, keep our position. After that, we are thinking about. We are thinking about, about don't suffer goal. After that, thinking about sporting. I put this mentality in the, the mind of our player. I put one system for prayer. Uh, the friendly, friendly system for our player. It is more important for our team that everybody be together, be friend. که یه بازیکن برای بازیکن میگه حالا اون جون دادن یا چی and uh, every, everyone for for sacrifice himself himself for for, for another که خدا رو شکر بچه‌ها خیلی and thanks god that our players show very well this championship yes congratulations yes. yes. چهار تا بازیکن جوان اضافه کردن و حمید بزادپور گلر دوم آوردن گلر اول گذاشتن and uh, we have some changes some changes in our team we put four young player in the first team and they put Amir Benzadi از second goalkeeper to first goalkeeper in our team. همین میدونی که پیمان حسینی که بهترین زد. Everybody knows that Pimon Hussein was is one of the best player in the world. وقتی من حمید بازی دادم. When I put uh, Hamid to the, the as goalkeeper. خیلی انتقاد کردن. Many many people uh, critic about me. ولی من گفتم که فکر خودم اینه که اول من مدرد تو باشم که حمید دیگه First of all we have to uh, keep position because Hamid uh, Do it very well. Very, very good play with uh, his, his leg. And thanks to God, uh, he responded with this, uh, this tactic. It's, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, it's good to listen to this. Yes, the coach, uh, if, if you understand, uh, he said about the... I, I asked him about the Pattaya because the Iranian team was out of the World Cup because they lose the, the competition in Pattaya. But before the Intercontinental Cup, they made a very good competition in Qatar, yeah, the Olympic Games. Yeah, that's, that's, that's and they made a very good preparation. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's how important it is to get their decisions, coach to get their decisions. Because he changed, he changed, the, he changed the keeper. He changed the keeper. He tried to put other uh, new, new players, young players. And uh, but good to listen. Uh, it's better to be friends than to win games or something like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's good because you can you can look your three. One more one, one more point, Bruno, please. Okay, you can say. I keep a, I, I keep Peyman Hosseini as because as I told you, he's one of the best. <coughs> goalkeeper in the world, I keep it in, in a, beside me to give this his energy to our our uh, our team. The, the difficult the game uh, that uh, was with UAE 
From from Iran, okay. He is a very good player. They were the <coughs> sorry. He was the the best scorer of the championship. We have Valid Basha, uh, the MVP. He is a very good player, and we have uh, Bari. Bari is the goalkeeper of UAE. Uh, he can play with the feet. He can defend very well. Uh, but more than these, more than two than, than these two guys, uh, Iranian team uh, have. Bezapur and Ahmad Zadeh, uh, number 11, very good player. Uh, we, everybody knows about him. But Bezapur was a surprise for me, I need to say to you. He can control the game from behind and could do good things in the championship. Sure, you put Payman to be the, the keeper against, against us on the penalty kicks. Penalty kicks. But Bezapur made a, a very good championship. Iranian team, they have the best scorer, sure, but they have also, the MVP and the best keeper of the championship. And more than this, a team, a very good team with a, with a very good coach, very good uh, structure is in your country. And we can discuss this in this moment. Now, just check the Akbari play. Here we can say about the, how important is the structure, how important is to play, how important is to be against good players, to play against good players. Valid, you can say something for me about this, about how, how important it is to train and to play hard games in the year? Valid, are you there? Hello, hello, Bruno. Hi, can hello. you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Tell me, okay. please. So, what I, yeah, what I want to say is, of course, it's very important to have uh, the calendar during the year, to have a championship. Uh, our players, to be honest, we are not having uh, the full calendar <laughs> per year. We, are, we don't have a championship. This is a big gap when you start to play in a very high level in intercontinental, such an intercontinental cup or even World Cup, and you don't have a championship. It's actually a little, a little bit sad but uh, what our players are doing they are doing a great job they are uh, training as individual we are we are meeting together we are trying to keep in shape we are trying uh, to keep uh, our chemistry together training together and uh, for example Walid and Bahri they are uh, they, they they were showing a very good performance in this tournament however uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, they are playing futsal, and uh, this is what I really I, I would like to change. This in UAE, I would like to have a professional players who only can play beat soccer because we are having a very high potential of players. If you compare us with other countries, uh, they are playing a lots of games per year, 50 to 60 games per year, and our players, the average games per year is five to ten games, which it is uh, no compare. I cannot compare these numbers, you know. But uh, also in the second uh, part, I would uh, even encourage our players, like I already advise uh, Bahri, Walid, and all the young player, players who I play with them. Uh, we have to make the difference. We cannot wait for the opportunity. We have to initiate and we have to search for what is going next. Uh, we cannot wait if we don't have a championship just to say because many players they are showing with high potential and this competition was proven for us uh, i'm very happy to see them and the top player we ended up in a in a good uh, condition and uh, if i would like to advise everyone and especially the young players in beach soccer i was writing some uh, quotes yesterday so there is a different ways to achieve your goal sometimes we try many ways but 
we don't reach. However, if you really want, you will find the best way to reach your target. This is what I would advise them to do. And uh, uh, I really uh, would, uh, I mean, I'm pushing a lot for the UAE Federation. Even today I had an article in the newspaper and uh, maybe the sports situation, Bruno and UAE in general about soccer is not good. Because for the last five years, we have changed three presidents. No? It makes a lot of change in the strategy, a lot of change in their visions. However, now I'm very happy because uh, we had an election and uh, the new president is uh, from the royal family who love sport, who have a soccer club in Ajman City. Uh, he is an athletic, he have a good vision. And uh, today, even though I was, as I was saying, I wrote some articles and I hope the UAE championship will get back soon to UAE, the same as it was before. Many players, Bruno started in UAE, uh, great players. Lawrence, before he became the best player in the world, he was playing in UAE. Mohamed Ahmed Zadeh, he was playing in Al-Nasr. I think Coach Abbas also was coming to watch the UAE league. Uh, Bruno Shavir was here. Jordan started from here. So I hope these things will come back soon to UAE. And I'm really with my uh, partners here. We are pushing a lot to host uh, the championship back. Thank you, Valid. I agree with you. Dario, uh, what do you think about the Italian championship? Is it easy for the Emiliano when he will bring some players to put inside the national team? Because you have a championship that is più facile for Emiliano, per Emiliano, per prendere un giocatore, perché hai un campionato italiano, puoi fare la scelta. È più facile o no? Fare la scelta non lo so se per il mister è più facile o meno. Di sicuro il fatto che i ragazzi italiani si confrontano giocando contro e giocando insieme a grandi campioni li aiuta nel, nel processo di, di crescita. Perfetto, e, e, sure. Uh, the, to choose the player, maybe it's hard, but if you have a championship and you can play together, the Italians or against the big players of, uh, of the world, your level is growing. It's true. Uh, Donna, uh, can you say something about the Spanish championship, please? Puoi parlare, puoi parlare, eh, puoi parlare un pochito sobre il campionato español di soccer? O, o, quanto, o quanto la España juega con la selección o en clubes? Quanto un jugador juega en el año? Eh, bueno, la, la Liga Española va creciendo cada año a más. Eh, cada vez se hacen más sedes, aunque este año será un poco diferente por la situación que estamos viviendo. Pero normalmente, eh, si, si juega Liga Española y Selección, puede llegar a jugar unos 40 partidos. Pasa que claro. la, mayoría, la mayoría de los jugadores no solo juegan Liga Española, Liga, juegan o Italia, o Portugal, o Rusia. Okay. Siempre juegan más ligas. El número de partidos aumenta. Ok. The Spanish Championship is growing year by year, and the Spanish players have. 40, 40 hard games in the year. Yesterday we were talking about me and Valid. Maybe the UAE player have maybe four play, four games, hard players in the, yeah, in the year. Five and average. Yeah. Five and average. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, it's, it's important. Uh, the league is important. The structure is important. Important for the coaches. Because if I have a league in my country, and if I am a coach, I can go there and I can check the best players. Okay? I don't need to wait the players come. I can go there and I can analyze and I can <coughs> bring new players for, for my team. Uh, in the end, the structure is so important. Uh, to grow this game, we need to improve this kind of things, I understand, out of the pitch. Uh, the level of the coach can grow if we have a good structure uh, out of the pitch in the backstage. Uh, the, the choices of the coaches uh, can, be, can be better. Uh, if we have one championship, I can go there and I can look my players. Like Abbas said the other time, uh, he personally go there and look your players. Is it true, Abbas? You go there and look your players because Iran, in Iran you have a very good league there. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Every game, uh, I, I try to go from close to see uh, our player there. And all with, with my, my, uh, my partner, my assistant coach. 
Great. That's it. It's easy. Okay. Also, I have uh, some uh, talent finder and send them for the League One or, or, or first or, or second league to find some, some good talent that they, they can be uh, useful for us in the future. But in, in Pro League, I, uh, especially I, I go to see the player that play national team to see them from close. Good. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. like I said to you, Iranian, Iran, they have a league. They have a very good league. The coach can go there and watch the best players. They can bring good players for the national team. Okay. Italian also. Spanish also. Sí. Bruno, eh, tengo una pregunta. Si sí, puede reenviársela a Abbas. Eh, ¿Qué piensas si, si una selección como Irán, eh, que tiene tanto manejo de pelota en el 2-2, eh, si pasara menos, menos pelotas al portero, piensa que ganaría eh, en espectáculo para Bisoca? Uh, Abbas, Donna is talking. Donna have one answer for you. He's talking about the five against four. Okay. Maybe, maybe the rule, the rule will change. Uh, do you think the game will lose? Uh, something, something special. This kind of game with the keeper. What do you think about this? Uh, sure, I, I, I'll train with new rule. No problem for us. Okay, but, but do you think the, the game the is not well, so beautiful? When we play with the keeper, the game is so beautiful. The balls in the air, you can pass, more for... Do you think the game will become ugly or not so good to watch? If the keeper was in the game, the, the game is more, more good. All the teams in the world, they have good, good, good keeper that can play with, 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 with their leg and Dona also is uh, here, they go to Europe, Italy, the world is in the world, the world, the world, the the world uh, they, are, they are using their leg and the game with the keeper is more beautiful. Sure, Dona, he, he said yes, sure, the game is not so beautiful, uh, and, but sure they will try to train in the other way. But all the teams now have good keepers and how, how can play with the fit and the game will become ugly. Dona, he said that the game will be a little bit more fair, no? But it will adapt to the moment that there are other great players, other great players in the world, like you, like the players of the Mirage, like everyone. But we will all have to adapt to the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, vale. Okay, guys, time to see. Say... Uh, Sir Bruno, what's the, is the <coughs> idea of, of Donna about uh, this, this rule? Ask okay, good. good, very good, Abbas. He asks you now, Donna, the same thing. Elio te, te ha hecho la, la, la misma pregunta. La misma pregunta. Eh, yo pienso que. que mm, Hay veces en el, en el juego que pienso que deberían de, de no... El juego se hace un poco lento cuando se pasan muchas veces al portero. Eh, yo pienso que cuando él dice, según la situación, pienso yo que es cuando quiere conservar la pelota. Entonces, para, para espectáculo de Big Soccer, eh, la gente quiere ver acciones de gol y quiere ver velocidad. Que hemos visto que cuando hay velocidad hay goles al primer toque. Entonces yo pienso que, que devolver muchas pelotas al portero es perjudicial para Bisoque. Yo pienso que si, si el esquema de juego de 2-2 se jugara un poco más con jugadores y no menos a conservar pelota, podría ser mejor para todos. Pero esto ¿Puedo decir, es una... Bruno? Sí, no, por favor. Allora, hablo in spagnolo. Eh, che donna mi entiende. 
Entonces, ajá. ahora, eh, el portero es justo que sabe jugar con, el, con los pies. Pero a mí, personal, me gusta el portero que para. Con el pie tiene que jugar los jugadores. Para mí, es mejor un portero que para que un portero que a parar no es muy bueno, que pero juega con los pies. Por okay. como, como hablábamos antes de, de transición, por la mentalidad de Italia. Ok, perfecto. Uh, gracias, gracias. Gracias, Dona. Abbas. Uh, Ramachotti said for him, uh, it's important the keeper with the hands. The players must to play with the feet. For, for you will have a dance machine, a voice of us, for sure. It's an Italian characteristic, okay? For Donna, for Donna, don't understand the game needs to be fast. And when the team put the players just to keep the ball with them, with us, it's not good to keep the possession. It's good when the game is faster. Donna said this. Don't like so much when the game is so slow passing by the keeper, but when the game is fast, it's better for him. And for the spectators, it's better when the game is fast. So, okay? Got me? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, gracias, gracias, grazie. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for everybody. Shukran, uh, Bali. Uh, it was it was a pleasure for us uh, to to invite you to have you here uh, come on and say something for us and uh, I hope everything is okay in the UK regarding the coronavirus and all okay take care thank you thank you Bruno thank you thank you, thank you everybody take care Bruno thank you gracias thank you Donna. thank you adios Dario adios un abrazo please